guys, it's Bookish Vegan here, all Italian, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog, or kind of like weekly just vlog in general. So today is Monday, the 1st of October, and it was my first day at university, so I was technically in four hours. I left the house at 8.30 and I got back just around 5pm. So yeah, it's been a long day, but I'm really happy, it went fine, I had two hour lecture and two one hour seminars, and even though I don't recognise like all the people in my lecture and in my seminar group I do recognize some of them so that's good and I've seen some people that were from my previous seminar group last year so I'm really happy about that but I came home to mail you probably saw me unbox these on Instagram if you follow me definitely do it's just at bookish vegan underscore but what came is the witch of willow hall by Hester Fox this came out I believe recently actually I thought this was gonna come out in in October. Yeah, on Goodreads it says it's supposed to come out on the 2nd of October of 2018, so I have no idea why I got it, but I got this beautiful, stunning US paperback edition from Wordery. If you want US covers for any of the books that you don't like the UK covers for, because for instance for this book, I love this cover and I'll put like the UK cover on the screen so you can kind of see like the difference, and this one's just so like autumn perfect, so of course I had to get it, and I didn't realize but it has a deck called Pedros so it looks pretty cool I don't know how to show you this but so cool I'm gonna read this soon because it's gonna get me into the Halloween mood and I feel like now that I started university I can finally get into reading again because the past like two weeks I feel like I haven't been really in the mood so yeah I'm super excited for this one and then another new adult book came see this one came out like years ago but I ordered it because I wanted to to read a new adult like book physically. So I got Spinning Out by Lexi Ryan. I haven't read anything by by this author so it was quite risky to get this but I tend to really enjoy sport romances. I believe this is set in college. It's part of the Black Hawk Boys. I'll check on Goodreads again. I think this might be like the second book in a series but I was really in the mood for this one so that's why I got it. But Oh, there it is. No, this is the first book in the Black, the Black Hawk Boys. So this, I believe, is set in college, and it follows a football player, and there's a Mia, and I believe the guy is called Arrow. So I'm super excited for this, and it's got a stunning cover as well. So yeah, that's everything for Monday. I think I'm just gonna go edit my last week's reading vlog, upload it for tomorrow, and then finish editing some other videos, and then probably do some yoga, maybe. Or do some quick workout and then be done for the day. So guys, it's Tuesday today. I just got back from university. It's just gone past like two. It's just 2.30 and I ran out of like coins so I couldn't pay for the bus ride home because originally my mom was going to pick me up but she got ill. So I had to walk for an hour. I think it took me longer than an hour today home from university because I tend to walk but today was a day when I picked up my university books. So I carried this huge backpack full of books and also I had like water in this so this added weight and oh my god I'll show you my textbooks that I got for university I think I got like eight and one of them is massive you probably kill someone with it it's an even better weapon than a brick also I think I'm wearing the same top I wore yesterday so sorry about that but I'm a bit warm and I need to wash my hair because it's so greasy but also don't rely on the weather app even yahoo weather which has like beautiful pictures of where you live or like what what place you're checking out the weather for because it said this morning zero chance of rain when i was walking and i was like 30 minutes into my walk started like dripping rain it wasn't like heavy heavy but it was like a drizzle so annoying <laughs> so my hair got even more wet and i have no idea how i got home today because my back is killing me but yeah we got this bag full of books and none are missing which is cool because last year one was missing so I had to like lay Tetris is there and like fit every try and fit everything in there thankfully I didn't have to bring much with me because I only had an hour lecture but the first book we have is Palgrave Study Skills the Graduate Career Guidebook Steve Rook I think this will be oh it says in the Graduate Career Guidebook Steve Rook explains how to find your dream role regardless of whether you have a career in mind or no 
idea what you want to do after university. I think this might be for our module academic and career development that we have this semester. I have it on Fridays. A lecture and a seminar, so yay. Then we have something I'm not studying till semester two, taught law. So not looking forward to this because I think this is just negligence stuff and how can you have such a big textbook on negligence? And this one actually reminds me like the layout reminds me of my English legal system textbook which wasn't which wasn't a bad textbook so and also two women wrote it so that's pretty cool usually it's like men that write these textbooks now we have these two little ones I actually threw away the ones I got last year so this is where's your argument because I didn't even open it the other one was like pagerize and how to study law or something I don't even know what these are for and then this one is getting critical our pocket study oh um, yeah these are and then we have for this semester criminal law and I actually really like the cover of this Michael J. Allen yeah it's kind of like similar to the other textbook the taught textbook and I think I have to read something a chapter the next um, seminar which is on Monday I might start doing that soon first I need to go make lunch I already had like a little piece of tofu which was actually the I can't remember what the brand was called it was like I usually get the original but my parents saw a smoked version literally tasted like what's it called smoked fish mackerel I don't know if that fish is called that but basically there was this like fish where you bought where you know you put it on hooks and it kind of like dries out or like I don't know how to call it but it's called in Polish benzona mackerela it tastes like that smoked tofu tastes like smoked fish wow <laughs> but anyway then we have a practical guide to lawyering skills I didn't know lawyering was a word so that's pretty cool hopefully oh there's even a acronym <laughs> I guess this is for academic and courage development maybe just for something from ne for next semester and here is the huge book I was talking about that you could kill someone with it I literally this was like the first book I took out of this this paper bag because I'm not carrying that and it's the module I'm looking forward to least next semester because literally we'll be learning about it as we're leaving it EU law text cases and materials I'm never going to bring this with me to university because it's flipping look at it it's a monster it's literally like the book of monsters can you imagine it going like um, um i'm gonna eat you oh my god look at the writing it's flipping tiny oh my god there's even a map map of the european union and poland's on there oh russia's not in it interesting nor is norway huh interesting ukraine's not even in the oh this is gonna be interesting maybe maybe it won't be that bad she says looking at it yeah it was kind of bent so i'm gonna have to like strain it out a bit no we have this which i need to open because it's still red because it comes in the pack and it's for the course i said i was looking forward to most and i feel like i still am I haven't had a lecture yet, so I'll tell you after Thursday. But we got land law, which makes up a huge chunk of property law, I believe that's what my teacher told me. And I'm so happy that my seminar tutor is one of the lecturers. Yay! And she's super nice. And like literally she won't like shout. I've never heard her shout at anyone. And she when you have like questions, she always answers them. And she, if, if you tell her that you want her to go over something, she will. So that's pretty cool. So, oh my god, that's so interesting. There's even like about buying houses. I'm actually looking forward to reading, reading this because I want to work in property. So yeah. And we have Blackstone's statutes on property law. So yeah, this was interesting. Oh, so we don't really have like a property law book. It's just a land law textbook and property law. But this is the statute of all the laws. We have. I'm gonna try and pick up the textbooks like I usually do in my book hauls and like everyone. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like everyone does. <sighs> Can you see that? Can you see that? Ooh, this is so heavy. But I can't believe that I'm gonna be done with criminal law for the week. Right now I'm done with it. I only have it on Mondays and Tuesdays. That's really weird as well. <laughs> So I left for university at 10.30 this morning and I wanted to talk about the book I, I decided to pick up yesterday because I was just in the mood for it and I actually didn't know what I was getting myself into but I ended up reading 100 pages yesterday and then this morning like 59, 58 and that is Spilling It Out, the first book in the Black Hawk Boys by Lexi Ryan and oh my god this book is so emotional I cried this morning. Literally after I done my makeup I was like okay I still got time. I can read a bit 
and then I was like okay let's read 50 pages and I started crying <laughs> but thankfully I didn't mess up my face so oh my god I am so enjoying this story it's so complex I love how there's not just like one problem there's so many like problems intertwined into the story and it's just like I didn't expect like I was confused because when I read the first chapter I was like I think I know which book this is because I have so many of the new adult books that I want to read that I forget and mix up the what the book are the, what the books are about but yeah this one follows Arrow and Mia after a tragic accident Arrow is actually the best friend of Mia's boyfriend it's his best friend and Mia's boyfriend and her brother they were in an accident someone basically hit them but they don't know who and Mia's brother died and her boyfriend is now in a vegetative state I think that's what it's called because they call him like a vegetable because he doesn't move he just sits there with his mouth open and yeah they're both broken and they're trying to get like uh, trying to move on with life and there's so many interesting quotes I've been like highlighting away as you can see I tabbed like my favorite ever quotes and they're both from like kind of also like broken families in a way and I love how we get to kind of like go back in time so for instance there'll be like parts like this and we'll say like before eight months before the accident and then you have after May four months after the accident and also it's kind of cool like reading about Mia as she's like living with Arrow because she got a job at his house as a nanny kind of like a lived in live in nanny and oh my god it's just so good I'm, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because yeah but I'm definitely gonna be picking up the next books because it also follows like the next books follow so this one's Arrow's story then we have Christopher who is adorable Chris I absolutely love him and then Sebastian oh Sebastian's the one that helped me out okay he's pretty cool as well so yeah I just really am enjoying this book and I think I'm gonna read another 100 pages well another 50 pages but I think I might get 100 pages done so yeah let's go make food because Natalia's starving guys it's Wednesday today I'm just waiting for my lunch to be done I basically have a day off on Wednesday so I had a driving lesson for two hours in the morning and now I'm just editing my weekly reading vlog but last night I had to finish off the book I'm currently reading and I did so I finished Spinning Out by Lexi Ryan and I think I'm gonna give this five out of five stars because it was flipping amazing I kind of don't agree with Goodreads that it's set in college because it is but there's literally nothing going on about college it's sometimes mentioned but the main protagonist doesn't study in it I think the love interest does but yeah and also it says sports because the love interest Arrow plays football but it's not like he doesn't play it during the book because he's on probation because he does something so he's on house arrest and yeah I really enjoyed this it was so full of twists and turns sometimes when we uncovered information I was like no this can't be true and then I was right because it was just flipping amazing I had a couple moments where I had tears in my eyes and I really want to write the review for, for this book today and then probably post it today as well because it was flipping amazing and I'm definitely I've already added the rest of the books and I thought it was going to be only two other ones but there's four so I think the next one follows Chris 
Christopher, who is Arrow's like best friend. And then we also have Sebastian. I saw Keegan, who is a funny one. And Mason. I cannot wait for Mason's one because Mason basically had a kind of like fling off and on and off sexual relationship with Mia's best friend. So I'm super excited about that because we'll probably get to see more of these two. But I just really enjoyed this book. I did not expect to love it as much as I did. Well, actually I did because that's why I got a physical copy. But it was such a nice fast read that I'm so happy I picked it up. And it's been on my TBR for like ages. So I know I only got it on Monday, but damn, I loved it. Again, loads of highlighting and tabbing. But yeah, that's that for now. Let's go and eat something because I'm starving. As always, what's new? So guys, it's Friday today, like 9am, and I woke up at 7, I had to wash my hair, did my makeup, because I got school today, or university. I have a seminar at 11 to 12, and then I have a 3 hour break, and then 3 to 4 is a lecture for the same subject, so it's academic and career development. But I've been getting text, and so far all these seminars, like early on, so the 9 o'clock one and the 10 o'clock one were cancelled, and they keep sending like messages half an hour to an hour before but I leave an hour and a half before my university thing starts so I'm gonna be like halfway there and then they're gonna say it's cancelled but knowing my luck it's not gonna be cancelled for me so yeah we'll see I'm, I'm eating breakfast right now so if I have anything in my teeth or my mouth I'm sorry but yeah <laughs> thought I'd just quickly update you so then you will actually know if it was cancelled or not if I update you So guys, it's Saturday and that means my first week of university is pretty much over. Don't look at me, okay? Look who's looking at me talking to the camera. Look at that face. She's judging me so hard right now because she wants to sleep and I'm talking. <laughs> I, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, it's Saturday. Yesterday I didn't have the best of days at university. I feel like that three hour gap in between my seminar and lecture kind of killed me. But I found a new book that I'm so excited to get in the mail because in the bookshop it was £20. Yes, you heard that right. It's about astrology. I think it's called Astrology of You and Me. So good. I was reading about it. I'll show you like the book when it comes. I don't know when it's going to come because I ordered it off Wordery because it was like £13. So seven pounds cheaper but yesterday in the mail I got two books I'm not gonna show you the other one but I'm gonna show you the one I'm currently reading which is Wicca by Harmony Nice Harmony Nice is a youtuber I will be doing a full book review on my channel of this one because I just really like watching non-fiction book reviews right now so I thought I would do this one because it recently came out it came out on the fourth today's the sixth so I think I might be able to finish it off today. I only started it yesterday, but I ended up falling asleep. I am really enjoying it. If you don't know who Harmony Nice is, there she is. Follow her on Instagram and on YouTube because she has amazing content. And I love the vibes of this book. It literally feels like I'm watching one of her YouTube videos like on Enchanted Endeavours because you can really hear her voice in it. And I listened to the preview on Audible of her audiobook because if if you want to pick up the audiobook she narrates it and I can just hear her voice in this book and also at the beginning she gives us like a little bit of an insight into her life and she was born two years exactly on the same day before me 19th of May 1997 I'm 19th of May 1999 that's just crazy but yeah that's what I've been doing so far my nose is itchy <laughs> okay oh now it's red 
but yeah that's what I've been doing so far I ended up also watching top 10 funniest friends bloopers because <laughs> I'm obsessed with friends oh it's why 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 does that always happen but anyway yeah I think I'm gonna try and take some photos for bookstagram because that was my original plan it is quite gloomy and it's raining I'll show you see it's quite gloomy I don't know if you can tell it's it's been raining all day I'm burning a candle because I had my window open and the people that live below us in the apartment block the woman has like two sons and they're younger than me and they smoke so much literally when you have like our balconies open they'll go out on the balcony and smoke and I think they even smoke through the windows because it's stunk so bad so that's why I have my candle burning because I hate the smell of smoke and yeah I need to clean my room up a little bit as well but apart from that I think we're just gonna have a chill day and try and read as much of this also watch Vikings because when I watch Vikings the TV show I'm already on season five I don't know if I told you guys but I ended up finishing season four on Wednesday because I had a day off on Wednesday and usually when I have days off I don't want to leave the house so to get my 10k steps in for the day this is a pro tip if you guys want to get loads of steps in when you put on a TV show just march in place or like jog in place you get so much steps in and it also like keeps you active and you're not sitting down all the time literally the Vikings episodes are like 45 sometimes longer sometimes 47 minutes long and I tend to walk throughout the whole episode and pretty much in two three episodes I can have 10k steps in so yeah I think that's what we're gonna do maybe do something with my head because I think I might film a couple videos tomorrow. I'm not sure which videos yet, but yeah. Hopefully we'll film some B-roll or something. We'll see. So guys, it is Sunday. So that means the end of the weekly reading vlog. I didn't end up filming a lot today. Well, actually nothing except this clip because I ended up waking up really early because I thought I had loads of seminar prep to do for tomorrow. But I ended up finishing that in like four hours. So around 11 a.m. I was done. Took some photos for Bookstagram. What else did I do? Watch some more Vikings. I have three episodes left and I realized I have to wait till like the 28th of November because that's when season five part two starts just like mind blown i'm loving this season oh my gosh but i feel like no character is safe so i'm always like at the edge of my seat like is someone gonna die this episode it's looking crazy but yes time to go to bed so the only book i ended up finishing is spinning out by lexi ryan which i gave five out of five stars and yeah if you want more of my thoughts check out the book review i did on my blog which there's a link to in the description then i ended up getting to page 70 of wicker by harmony nice hopefully i'll finish this off next week because i'm going to a book signing of hers on saturday so it would be preferable to finish it by then and i also found the audiobook for clockwork princess by cassandra clare which is the finale to the infernal devices and i absolutely love it found it on script because i subscribed to that service for audiobooks and i ended up getting to page 30 34 chapter 2. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. I'm going to be highlighting and marking my favourite quotes. So it'll probably take me like a whole week to complete this book. But I have ho high hopes for these two books next week. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's reading vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe because I tend to post like at least once a week. Maybe twice a week, some weeks. And yeah, we'll see if I keep up with the weekly reading vlogs. We'll see if I want to start one tomorrow. But yeah, see you in my next video. Bye guys!